Now in this lesson we're looking at inequalities with an unknown in the denominator. Let's look at some examples. In this one we need to solve 4 over x minus 3 is less than 1. Now the concept we're going to consider is the idea of critical values. Now the first critical value, we'll look at the denominator. We realize that we cannot divide by 0. So in other words, x minus 3 cannot equal 0. As a result, x cannot equal 3. Now to find other critical values, we need to solve 4 over x minus 3 equals 1. And quite simply, we've just changed the less than there to an equal sign. So we're solving that equation. So let's just write that down again. Now let's get rid of the denominators by multiplying both sides by the x minus 3. As a result, they will cancel there. So we have 4 equals x minus 3. Simply the minus 3, take it over, we're going to add with the 4. So we then get x equals 7. We then need to check the values. We're going to check what happens at about x equals 3 and what happens at about x equals 7. So let's draw a little number line. Mark in the 3 and the 7. And then we're going to choose values. We're going to test values in the original in equation there. So we're picking a number on this side of 3. The easiest number, if it's available, is to choose 0. So let's sub x equals 0 into that in equation. And we come up with that. And we need to think a little bit about that. And we find, we've got to see whether it's true or false. We'll find in this case, it's true. So we'll give that a tick on our number line. Picking a number between 3 and 7, let's say we're going to substitute x equals 4. Again, we substitute x equals 4 and we come up with that. And we need to uh, work that out, either do it in your head or use your calculator. But we come up with a false statement, that is not true. So if it's false, on the number line, give it a cross. We'll choose a value of x equals 10 to substitute. And we substitute into that, we come up with this, and then thinking about that, it's another true statement. So let's give that a tick. So the solution therefore is, we're interested in values this side or the left of 3, so x is less than 3, and the values of x which are greater than 7 there. Our next example, we need to solve 3x minus 2 over x plus 3 less than or equal to 2. Again, we'll consider the critical values. First one, when the denominator is 0, so x plus 3 cannot equal 0. As a result, x cannot equal minus 3. To find the other critical values, we simply rewrite the equation. We change the less than or equal to sign to simply an equals. Okay, so we're going to solve that equation. Let's write that down again. Again, let's get rid of the denominator by multiplying both sides by the x plus 3. On the left-hand side, they will cancel. So we're left with 3x minus 2 equals, and we expand that, we get 2x plus 6. All right, fairly simple equation now. Let's take that 2x over to the other side and subtract it. We'll have 3x minus 2x would be x equals. And the minus 2, let's bring that over, we'll add. So it'll be 6 plus 2, of course, is 8. So let's do the check now on the number line. We're checking the values about minus 3 and about 8. So let's mark those two values in on the number line there and we need to test the values. So we pick a number on this side of minus 3, let's say substitute x equals minus 10, and once we do the substitution, there, there it is, we come up with a false statement. Between minus 3 and 8, the easiest value of course will be 0, so let's substitute x equals 0, we sub that in, and we get a true statement this time, so let's give that a tick. Our final part there, we need to check a value, let's substitute x equals 10, into that in equation. And we come up with that, and checking that, we find that it is a false statement. So the solution therefore is, all right, we're interested in values between minus 3 and 8 this time. So we write the minus 3 and the 8, we write our x in between those two values, and we have the less than or equal to sign to fill in there. Now normally that would be it, but let's have a look, because we've got the less than or equal to sign, the original. However, there's one problem. The critical value x cannot equal minus 3. So back on our number line there, minus 3, we'll do a little open circle, which means that we're not going to include that. So as a result, we need to change that less than or equal to, 
strictly to a less than sign. Excellent. Well, that concludes the lesson. Good luck with your questions.